Pretty excited. Uh, definitely, we have a lot more pitchers this year, uh, a lot more depth. Um, uh, with the depth, sometimes you come with guys that uh, don't have experience or uh, can't get the job done. But uh, the depth we have this year, it's, uh, it's going to be a lot of guys that are going to be able to, you know, get the job done. What is Coach Kelly brought to you guys? What is he? What is he kind of brought or helped out with? Uh, he, he's basically just, um, in a way, let us do our own thing. Um, with a little here and there adjustments, um, but uh, yeah, he's he's definitely the guy that, that we needed to uh, you know up our game and everything. You kind of look at right now and they kind of No, we haven't really determined our role yet. Um, I I really don't care what what my role is, um, what other guys' roles are, as long as you get the job done. Uh, that's pretty much all that matters. One of the newcomers has sort of been a standout so far. Um, I mean, obviously, it's Justin Paul. Um, I mean, that's just inevitable. Um, he's a big guy, lefty, throws hard, uh, knows what he's doing. Um, he's not a freshman. Um, but a freshman like uh, Cooper Benson, uh, Cam Denny, I think those guys are definitely going to show out for us. How nice is it to have a field that you're familiar with? Uh, it definitely helps a lot, you know. Uh, they've played behind me for, for two years, coming on three now. Um, you know, definitely trusting my ability, not feeling like I have to strike everybody out. You know, I can let let the team hit the ball, and you know they'll make the play behind me. It definitely helps me a lot. Worked on you know getting bigger, getting stronger. Um, you know working a uh, four seam fastball with you know wrap soto and everything. Um, off speed obviously, but uh, definitely a four seam fastball. In what ways is Coach Kelly kind of different than Cat last year? Um, you know he's just they they, they both have their, their great ways and everything. Um, JK is uh, you know he's been around the game a lot, um, and you know I think just his experience is going to help us a lot. When he came in, obviously he was a lot. A little bit, yeah. I mean, obviously, he's gotten to know us a lot better uh, being around us. Um, but, you know, playing against him for two years, I think he knew a little bit about us. Has Alec given you any like words of encouragement or any words prior to the uh, We talk a little bit. Um, uh, we talk a lot more about fishing than we do baseball. Um, but, yeah, he definitely he helps me out throughout, you know, helping me. Uh, you know, teach the younger guys because last year he was the leader. Um, I think this year uh, it's just kind of a mixture of, you know, me, Dabo, Brady um, being the leader. But he, he definitely, if, if I ever need help, I'll reach out to him. All, all of you guys uh, that are juniors look so much bigger, um, which is natural, of course. But um, what, what difference does that make just going up you know, because you're physically stronger and, and more ready for yeah. the entire season? Well, I think the. You know, obviously being bigger and stronger helps, but, uh, you know, having that experience um, as a freshman, you don't really know what to expect. Um, but now, you know, we, we've played in the pack for two years and everything. Um, it, it definitely helps just the experience a lot. You mentioned you did a lot of work on your fourth team fastball over the offseason. Did you notice any changes with that or just you got more comfortable with it? What was the biggest takeaway from the offseason? Uh, last year, when I would throw a fourth team, it, it had a, a lot of, you know, uh, movement to it and everything. Um, so I just basically... I've uh, been working on spin axis and everything, getting uh, more of a uh, 100% spin efficiency. Um, and, you know, make, basically, uh, in a way, just getting a higher spin rate, making it straighter, making it a little bit harder for hitters to hit. Do you know what you're spinning? Uh, I don't know right now. Just having Ferry back, uh, is that important for you and, and the other returning pitchers as well? Yeah, definitely. I, I think that, you know, catchers are, you know, kind of the leader of the team, kind of the quarterback of the team, um, and him being here for four years. Um, it's definitely going to help uh, not only me, um, but it's it's really going to help the freshmen. With some of the um, the inconsistencies in the bullpen last season, the way last year ended, is there a little bit of a, a fire almost for the pitching staff to, to kind of rewrite that? Yeah, I think. I mean, obviously, we're 
we're going to want to, um, you know, do better a little bit. Um, but, you know, if we just focus on what we need to do, um, I think that that's going to help. Thanks, buddy. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Um, what do you think of him, and what do you think of the outfield of I think he's a great player. I mean, he's a young guy, but he's scrappy. Um, he came in and made an impact right away. Um, he, he's actually one of the most, like, he's one of the funniest guys I've ever met, but he just comes out here. He works hard. Um, I think we're going to have a great outfield. I think Miles is going to come and play. He's been playing well. He played well all fall. Um, he's been working really hard, so I believe uh, our outfield is going to be really good this year. And Jump coming back? That, yeah, that Jump's going to be back. Um, he's going to have a nice bat like he always has. Um, he's just going to provide for our, our lineup and he's going to swing it well like he always does. Do you feel like with Hunter gone that you're kind of the leader out there now? or how do you look at uh, Yeah, I think so. Just because I have some uh, experience out there. Um, Miles does too. He's been here for a while. But um, just playing there every day last year um, definitely gives me more experience. Um, just being a leader up and out, just positioning wise. But uh, no, I think we're all going to be out there. Coaches are Mike has yeah, exactly. helped us a lot, just starting out there and stuff. So I think the Shane, Sean is going to have a good time out there. Um, so I think it's going to be good. You, uh, you, uh, you know, the way everything went with your hitting last year could have been much better, really. I mean, yeah. it was a great step forward. Do you feel like you can at least maintain that, or, or even go, go, for, you know, further than what you did last year? Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping to just obviously continue um, what I did last year and hopefully build on what I did. I've uh, gotten a lot bigger and stronger. Worked out, uh, worked harder. Um, the off season, hitting in the winter, I worked with uh, our strength coach a lot, just working on my speed and strength. Um, and I feel like it's paid off a little bit. I've driving the ball a little bit farther this year, so I'm hoping uh, it helps out during the season. Yeah, it's not like you didn't have power last year yeah. either. So yeah, I'm hoping to hopefully continue that and fill up, hit, hit with the uh, torque a little bit. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So, yeah. You guys that have been here um, several years now, can you just describe what, how important this is to get the maximum out? When I'm talking about maximum, I'm talking about Omaha. Yeah. To get that out of this team this year. Yeah, I mean, when we all came in with, as freshmen, uh, obviously that, our, that freshman year wasn't the best year that we could have had, obviously, but we were all freshmen who we were young. Um, and then last year, obviously, we were a little bit more mature, we uh, more experienced, and we had a, a be better year, obviously, last year. And I think that this year is going to just be even better. So I'm hoping that we come out, um, just play, just be ourselves, just play like we know we can. Um, and yeah, hopefully our goal is to get to Omaha. So that's, that's what we're going to do, I think. So. Your guys' freshman year, Skip talked about a lot, that there was a plan in place that this is going to happen in the future. Yeah. Being here in this place now, what is it like seeing that plan that you guys are in this position? I mean, it's crazy to think that he was, I mean, he was right. He told everyone that it was going to happen, and it's, I think it's going to. So um, just knowing that we've matured so much um, as players and as just people, I think it's, it's pretty cool to see just as freshmen to now as juniors and just the players we have. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty cool that I think we can do. So. You started so fast last season. Um, hopefully that happens again. But what, what do you think is the key thing to continuing that all the way through? You know, not that you dropped off badly, but you know, how, kind of getting to the point where you could host postseason here. Let's put it that way. Um, like I said, just staying with ourselves, not getting too ahead of ourselves. Um, I think last year, I think there was a little point in time where we were winning so much that, um, like for example, that Long Beach game, uh, I think we were like 25 and one at the time. They came in like three and 23. Um, I think we just came in thinking that we were just going to roll over them, just beat them. And I mean, they did, had a, a pitcher that was pretty good for that game. And um, I think I believe everyone, anyone could be anyone on any, any given day. So I think we got to come out every game like it's our last and just play like it. And if we do that, we're going to beat anyone. So. Just based on how last season ended, um, is that providing guys any extra motivation or fire just for this season? Definitely, because I believe we could have went farther than we did, obviously, um, with the players we had. Um, so I think coming back, I think we talked about it. I remember after the season ended last year, we were, we were hungry. We wanted to get back out there and play right away. Um, so I think building over the summer and the fall, I think that 
you could tell that we were ready to get going again. And so I think uh, today, our first scrimmage, you'll see that we're ready to get going. So there's a lot of yeah. talk of this yeah. freshman class, but you and the other juniors, when you guys are in your freshman year, how beneficial is that that you can be leaders for them? It's huge. I mean, they're all obviously young like we were, but just the experience that we have, I think that we're going to be able to help them out a lot. Um, just grow as players, and I think that gives them a, a, an advantage. Um, just the like the talent we have as juniors is we work with the freshmen a lot, and I think it's going to help them next year and the year after that, just so they can pass it down. So I believe it's going to help them a lot moving forward. Malika was saying that um, if you guys succeed. The draft will take care of itself. Is that kind of the attitude to think all of these juniors? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Um, yeah, we're the way we play is going to obviously determine where we go, but we're not really worried about that right now. We're just worried about the season, the team first. We're trying to get to tomorrow. That's our goal. Um, after that, we'll see where we go after that. You know what I'm saying? So we're, we're the team first right now. My last three years at least. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it was it was seriously like a dream come true. I mean, high school I had a couple friends do that. And I just remember thinking like uh, that's something I really want to do in college. So to have the opportunity just to be out there with all those guys is awesome. And then having Torque obviously was a huge help, just a familiar face. So uh, yeah, it was a dream come true. <laughs> You have so many people that are going into their draft here. Do you think collectively you guys can help each other to kind of keep focused on the job at hand and not get too caught up in the whole draft thing? Yeah, I think Skip's done a really good job with that. He preaches just focus on winning, and as long as we're winning, we're usually playing pretty well. So, I mean, I, I think if we just keep that in mind, just winning is our main focus, then everything else will take care of itself. Keep it simple. And the fact that you guys haven't really accomplished your team goals here yet, is that another thing that, that's in your favor in terms of just um, the, the focus on this season? Yeah, this is a, this group of guys in particular is very driven to go out and do something. I mean, we have all those preseason accolades and stuff, but we haven't done anything yet. So we want to go out there and win some games. What are your first impressions of this uh, freshman class? I love them. They're, they're a solid group of guys, and I think they're going to be huge. They're, they're going to be a huge factor in this year's team, from the pitching standpoint and the uh, position player standpoint. We got Baez and McLean and Seth, and we, we have a lot of options too. So it, it's going to be good. It's going to be really good. Yes. Which of the freshmen have been the biggest standout in your opinion so far this offseason? McLean has really come out and just kind of he's a little gamer as. Uh, we like to call him, so he just goes out and plays as hard as he can, and we love we love that. So he's gonna be a huge part of our team this year. What is the chemistry like with the junior class, just playing all those games together so far? It's all. I mean, me, Workman, Hover, Swifty. I mean, we're all like brothers. So <laughs> I mean, you can't. I, I don't know. It's, it's we're we're just a big, one big family out there, and it's really easy to play when you know they got your back. So. It seems like we talked to you last year about having a, a consistent consistency in the infield, and now here it is again, the same thing. Can can you explain what that means to have the same four guys there as long as you guys have been there? Yeah, um, we're all very comfortable with each other. Um, I feel like me and Swift could turn double plays with our eyes closed at this point, so I think that's that's huge just for the the comfort part and the confidence in the guys around you. So playing with them for so long now, I mean, I think that's huge for our infield for sure. Have you set specific goals for yourself for this upcoming season or is it more team oriented? Uh, it's all team, team oriented. We're going to go out there and get to Omaha and win a national championship. That's the goal. I think everyone's pretty much on board with that, so it's going to be a good one. Uh, sorry. Uh, just to what extent do guys have a sense of like the history of like this is kind of a, a chance for this group to bring ASU baseball back to what it traditionally has been? I think a lot of guys can feel it this year. I mean, you look around, you, from top to bottom, our lineup, our pitching staff this year. I mean, this is gonna be this is gonna be a big year for us. It's, it's a good group of guys, and I think we got a good shot at doing something special.
Well, too. You mentioned the uh, preseason rankings, and your personal rankings have been really high too. Do you put any? Does that, that mean much to you at all, or? Uh... Um, not really. It's just, I mean, it's cool to see how far we've come since our freshman year. We struggled a little bit freshman year, but uh, to be where we are now is just incredible. I mean, it's kind of nice to take a step back and see what you've accomplished, but we haven't really done anything yet, you know. So. I think it's a good start for the conversation, as Skip always says, but now we got to go do it. Has Bing potentially an All-American with anything that's popped in your head at all since freshman year or before you all started? <laughs> not, not really. I mean, I see his stuff on Twitter. I mean, people send me stuff, but not really. Just kind of go out there and play hard. Um, yeah, I mean, every year I think everyone's expecting, like, each of us to get better, so we're all hoping to go further each and every year. For the entire junior class, that, how hard was freshman year for all of you guys? Um, I don't, I don't think, I mean, looking back, it was pretty tough, but at the time, we didn't know anything else, so it was just another year of baseball for us. Do you think that year is made you guys better off for what you want to do this year then? Um, I think that year really helps us, especially with like underclass and kind of helping them and showing them kind of a way to way to do things and a way not to do things because we've been there and we've done it the wrong way and so now we want to do it the right way. What are your first impressions of this freshman class? They're good. The freshman class is really good. I think if like if they came in when we were freshmen, like we all came in together, we'd have a run, run for our money. The entire infield back again. <laughs> um, I mean, that's a, a great luxury. How, how does it feel to be one of those guys and have everyone back? It's been awesome. The, we, the first game of fall ball, I looked around and I was like, we've been doing this for this is the third year now, all the same exact guys. So it was it was pretty cool to be so close with everybody. Yeah, it's just the way last season ended kind of gave you guys like a lot of fire and motivation for this season at all. I think so. I think that kind of left a bad taste in our mouth. That was that was not how we pictured it ending, but um, I think we we have the chance to go further than that for sure. Do these high preseason rankings mean anything to you? No, not. I mean, not at all. We. I mean, we see them. Everyone has a different opinion, but it's just it doesn't matter if we go out and lose our first series. Those rankings mean nothing, and if we go out and win our first thirty games, they. I mean. It's just, it's just about the end goal for us.